update video on this fermented, fermented vegetable sauce that I made. So I fermented some, my idea was that I would take some waste vegetables, peelings, trimmings, all those type of things, and ferment them like you would a, not a kimchi, but a sauerkraut. I've forgotten what the ratio of salt is. Is it 5%? No, it's not. I think it's 2 or 3% salt. Slice it all up, mix it with some salt, scrunch it all together, put it in a container, let it ferment, and then uh, it would be a way of using up waste vegetables. I would then take the liquid out of the vegetables by pureeing them, straining it, squeezing it through a, a cloth to extract as much juice out as possible, and then kind of make something that was a little bit like Worcestershire sauce or like a a seasoning type of thing, like a new umami type of, of seasoning. That was my original idea. So I kept some, I did two batches. Well, I did one batch, but I did it into two containers. So the first, con I left one as is and just in the fridge for two or three months now, I can't quite remember. And then the, the other half of the batch, I strained and it turned into that liquid, which over these last couple of months has kind of clarified a little bit, so and all the sediments kind of gone down to the bottom. I didn't really know what I was going to do with it, but I was just curious. And if I'm curious about something, I always kind of want to have a go, even through things not working or not turning out how you want. There's always a learning experience, you know. I mean, we learn more through failure than we do through success, and we can also take the knowledge. Of, that we've learnt and apply it to other things as well. So the more we understand about something, the more we can kind of expand on it. So that's kind of my my idea with everything. If it, if I think if I want to have a go at something, I think well just have a go, and let's see what kind of happens. Something interesting might happen. Something interesting might not happen. It doesn't really matter. So I did. I then took some of this liquid and reduced it down. So that bottle was full. So I reduced that amount of liquid down, so I suppose that's about 500 millilitres, into a more concentrated form. So it would, just heated it in a pan, just to evaporate off some of the liquid, and then just to kind of concentrate that flavour. So you get like salty, umami kind of um, more intense sauce. And originally it was like just an orange colour, like that. But I've noticed that it's gone black like that uh, it's just been in the cupboard so I was it's got a little bit of sediment down the bottom but I noticed it the other day and I was it's taken on a kind of quite an interesting kind of smell as well also I did notice with this one that this had carried on fermenting in the bottle and when I opened it let's see if it does it it did that so there's obviously a little bit of build up of gas so let's have a taste of these and decide potentially if I'm going to do something with that or I'm going to do something with these. So it's clear, but it's gone dark in colour. There's no growth on the top of it. It'd be quite salty, so I can't imagine it's anything that will grow in there. Harmful, anyway. It's kind of gone a, a bit like a, a Lee and Perrin's soya sauce type of thing that's kind of quite interesting that's kind of quite interesting so let's have a taste of this one and then I think we'll mix them as well so we'll do a, one part of one and one part of the other that's interesting as well that's interesting they're both they're both interesting in different ways that's really kind of quite nice. Now it's matured for a couple of months. That's really kind of quite nice, is that? I mean, it's a little bit vinegary, a little bit salty, but there's more. There's a little bit more kind of going on. Fresh them. So I don't know. Still don't know what I'm going to do. That's lip puck puckery. And that's not always a bad thing. So let's 
let's make more, more washing up because we can never make too much of that, can we? Let's do a teaspoon of that. Don't need to do any washing up on that. And let's do a teaspoon of this and see how they taste together. If they just kind of balance them out. Do you know that's really interesting, is that? That's really interesting. Considering that's just vegetable waste with a bit of chili in and, a, and, a, and I put some ginger in as well, some ginger peelings. There's the full video of, of it, kind of, of what it is. But that's really interesting. So, I am going to. Oh, no, we, we need to taste that. So, let's have a taste of this and see what we think of this. Might taste the vegetables as well. Alright, so that's gone like that. That's really kind of quite nice, isn't it? How do the vegetables taste? This has been in the fridge. That's really nice, is that? These fermented vegetables go. That's really kind of quite nice, is that? So. I'm not going to eat those vegetables, but that's rather kind of quite nice, is that? That's rather quite nice, is that? Certainly needs that two or three months in, in, the, in a cool place just to kind of improve its flavour no end. I mean, it was nice, but that's even nicer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to eat... There's no way I'm going to eat those vegetables. And for, you know, like, it, it's just not my time. I eat those type of things, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to eat it. But let's turn that into that. So we will puree that down with the hand blender, and then we'll strain it through a cloth, collect the liquid, and put the liquid in a bottle, and then kind of decide what we're going to do. But those, you know, those two are really kind of quite interesting, and I think taking vegetable scraps and peelings, not potato peelings, but carrot peelings, the cores of the core of a cabbage, uh, uh, ginger skins, you know, like anything else that you've got that, you know, that's kind of like a little bit wasted. Vegetables that are a little bit past the best, you know, would go into that and you could make a delicious condiment. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll decide if I'm going to reduce that down into kind of like that kind of consistent, that that type of concentration. But there we go. Yes, I'll, that's what I'll do. And then I'll be back when I've decided, because I think I'll ponder it. I'm going to go out for a walk tomorrow. So I'll ponder my way through on what I'm actually going to do. But it's best off that I strain that off now. You don't need to see that. I have reduced this fermented sauce down. So it was 750 millilitres and I've reduced it down to about 250 so that I've reduced it down to a third of its original volume. Just gently in a pan. Not a vigorous boil, just a steady simmer because we didn't want, I didn't want to burn the sides of the pan and kind of create a, a caramelisation which would affect the flavour. So this is a reduced one and that's the one that I didn't reduce. So let's give this a taste. Now it hasn't, we've got a bit of a layer of sediment at the bottom. It's not darkened like that one yet. So let's just give it a taste. It's got a real salty kick to it. It's got a real salty kick to it. I think it needs to mature. So this is the mature one. Darker, nice and clear. Yeah, that's different. That's, it's like eating soy sauce. It's like eating soy sauce. It's not pleasant, but eating soy sauce straight out of a bottle would not be a pleasant experience either. And then this is the one that hasn't, that hasn't been reduced. This is just the 
raw sauce. That's nice as that. That's nice as that. So, those are those. Is this video useful? <coughs> no. I can't imagine this video is useful to anyone. But it is interesting to me. And I'm going to take some of that matured sauce. I'm going to go and take it to my friend the cheesemonger. Because he's got quite a good palate. And I think he'll be able to give me an honest opinion. I think my palate is... Uh, how do I... Um, how do I put this? Like the things I, I've got quite a high tolerance for salt in things. So if something's overly salty, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with, with tasting something that's overly salty. Some people are a lot more sensitive uh, to salt and those type of things. So I need, I need a second opinion. I think those are kind of quite nice, but I just need to know if I'm, if I'm on the right track, and just out of curiosity. So we'll kind of see what he says. So. I think this this probably will be a ongoing video so we'll kind of every few months kind of do a taste of it and see how it's maturing I don't I don't think it's any use to me whatsoever it's just an out of curiosity and I'm, I am now reminded of the story of Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce that it was originally a chemist who was faffing around things I've forgotten what he was trying to make but he just fermented fish uh, innards like I've forgotten what it is is it anchovies or mackerel just fermented them and it tasted disgusting and he just left it in a barrel um, and then came back to it six six months later and it was delicious so I think it's that's kind of my feeling about it we'll drop in now and again and we'll kind of see how it's maturing and how it tastes and think about maybe kind of what kind of use there. I've got a book on what was it cabbage and cabbage and king kimchi book and it might have something already in this taking the juice from the fermented vegetables and turning it into a sauce it's probably I've probably got the idea from somewhere there isn't I, I don't I often find that I, I do something and then I think oh yeah of course that was I got that idea from from there but anyway so, quite a success really.